In 1985, a group of dolphin researchers were just passing time and chilling on the boat. One of them got bored and tried to imitate Poseidon. If you don't know, Poseidon is the god of the oceans. One of the researchers took a piece of seaweed and put it around his head like a crown. None of the other researchers laughed. He got sad and threw the seaweed back into the ocean. A dolphin was watching all of this. Since the dolphin saw he threw it from his head, he swims under the seaweed and puts it on its own head. The researchers were like, wow, that's really cool. The dolphin is imitating us. It was around those years that people were finding out how smart this animal is. So how smart are dolphins? Dolphins come from the cetaceans family, which are mammals like orcas, whales, and other creatures. You might not believe it, but cetaceans have really close DNAs to ungulates. Ungulates are animals like giraffe, horses, or deers. One of the first cetaceans that entered the water was around 55 million years ago. When they entered the water, they were very powerful and they had sharp teeth. And that is why, just like sharks, they were considered predators. After 20 million years, meaning around 35 million years ago, the ocean temperature was declining, and this water temperature caused a food shortage. Because of this water temperature, most of them go extinct, except the Odontoses. These creatures were smaller, the teeth weren't as sharp, and they had an extreme complex brain. This brain helped this creature to solve its own problems, find the ways, and communicate with its own kind. This creature that was formed was the ancestor of a dolphin, and the dolphins you see today came from this. It's cool to know that out of all the animals that live on the world, the human brain compared to the human size, it's the biggest brain. And dolphin is in second place in this category. One of the reasons that dolphins are still around compared to the millions of animals that went extinct, it's thanks to the brain it has. Not only does this brain help the dolphin solve problems, but the brain allows the dolphins to communicate with its own kind. These complex communications that dolphins can have has helped this creature to pass the extinction filter. Research is done at the Florida beach has shown us that dolphins work very well together and they're really coordinated and they can hunt fish together. When one dolphin notices there's a bunch of fish, it goes around them and does a circle and kicks up the sand. Basically, it causes a blind spot around the fish. When the sand blocks the fish, one of the other dolphins sends a signal to the other dolphins. They notice what's going on and they quickly get there. They circle that sandy area and any fish that comes out, they catch them. The way they work in groups is extremely interesting because the signal they sent is so accurate. It's like they were trained to do this. Corals are usually really sharp and if you touch them, they can cut you. Dolphins are so smart that when they enter an area with corals around, before entering, they put a piece of sponge around their nose. And they do that to protect their nose from hitting the coral and damaging their nose. These poor dolphins that get hunted down and enter these circuses, they show the people how smart they are. 
Not only do they see the hand gestures and understand everything, but they understand the whistle and the whistle tone. Like going up and down in the sound of the whistle means different things and they understand that. Dolphins are another animal that passes the mirror test, meaning when they see themselves in the mirror, they recognize that it's themselves and not another animal. They say the smarter you are, the more emotional you get. At least in animals it's like that. Elephants are smart and they're extremely emotional. Dolphins are smart and they're emotional as well. There's a lot of stories that dolphins, when they see someone drowning, they go and help them. When one of the dolphins in their group dies, they get extremely depressed and sad. There's a cool story about puffer fish. When these fish feel threatened, they poof up to scare the opponent. They also release a certain poison that could kill humans. But this poison doesn't do anything to dolphins. And that is why these puffer fish become a toy for dolphins. If they have nothing to do and they see a puffer fish, they mess with it to make it poof up. Then they proceed to play with it. Even though these fish are poisonous, they don't do anything to dolphins. There's also another story that these dolphins play with puffer fish to get high because of the poison. But when researchers studied this, they didn't notice any effects of getting high. You see this dolphin? Even though it lives in the ocean and far away from people, it still can't stay away from people. They hunt them, they eat their meat, they take them to prison, they take them to circuses, and make him do whatever they're told. Just like SeaWorld, which is an amusement park in USA and Canada. And this place is a hellhole for any sea creature, like orcas and dolphins. Even the employees that used to work here say this place needs to shut down because what they're doing is criminal. First of all, an orca has to live in the ocean and then you bring them and throw them in the pool. It would have been good if it was just the pool. To keep this orca calm and not get angry, they inject them with painkillers, and this causes the animal to not have full energy. This creature is so strong that if it gets angry, it could literally jump onto the people. And scientists believe they'll do that if they want to commit suicide, but they don't have the energy. Dolphins suffer from this as well. If dolphins get mad, they get dangerous as well. And that is why they also inject them with painkillers. People pay $50 to sit there. This is kind of similar to the Colosseum of ancient Rome, where the gladiators were in the middle with animals and they fight to the death, and the people would watch them. This is the modern version of that. Just like we said, SeaWorld is $50 to go inside. But since the employees have spoke out on how they treat these creatures, their business gets lower and lower. And you could say they're slowly gonna go bankrupt. I guess that's a good thing about all this. What do you guys think?